Hi, this is LJ Boffel, and this video is for my 10 Key Mastery courses. Basics on just how to use the 10 Key Mastery tool to sign up for it, etc. Now, basically, the college offers a 10 Key practice course for students who want uh, to become better at using a 10 keypad for like accounting, working with Excel, data entry, etc. And the purpose of this course is just to give you a lot of practice and to be able to give you credit for doing that practice and building your speed and comfort and confidence. So it's meant to be a comfort, confidence, competency building. It's not meant to be a stressful class. So you'll just be basically practicing, practicing, practicing. The assignments won't be exciting, but you'll be doing different timings of 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, and maybe a couple of five minutes ones. And then what we're using in addition to our Canvas course where you will access all of our information about the course and the college stuff related to the course, we will be using a tool called Keyboarding Online. Keyboarding Online provides a 10 key mastery course user interface where I have a variety of exercises set up and what it does is it times you as you do your keyboarding and then it assesses how many keystrokes per hour that would calculate to be which is how 10 key is assessed and um, discussed when you're in a workplace where you do a lot of 10 key work. You will never actually have to do an hour long assignment. It's always going to be short timing sprints, but you will usually have to do several assignments in a week and each one of them you'll have to do five times each and then I grade based on the average best that you do because you're practicing and I want you to have points for that and I want you to feel comfortable with it, build confidence, etc. My courses are always very simple in our layout. Right now I'm in student view so that you can see we have a home page, which is where you'll get your um, announcements, the newest ones at the top, oldest ones at the bottom, my email address, a link to keyboarding online, a support form that you can use if needed, and then my Zoom office hour information, a link to Zoom, my office hour um, ID, the password is coffee, and it's, like right now it's currently Wednesdays 3 to 4 o'clock p.m. each week, except usually for finals week and if there turns out to be a week that um, something ex exceptional comes up. You will also have the modules page where you'll see all of your information, assignment information, where you will see your actual scores for this class add up that will become your grade. There's a discussion area, so if you want to talk with each other, plus do your first introduction assignment, um, self introduction assignment, and then grades where you can see your points accumulating. And usually I will grade after the deadline. I'll do everyone at once instead of during the week because that way I want to make sure that the deadline is set and what people's scores are as of the deadline is what I'm calculating. Note that the keyboarding online itself does not set date oriented timers or deadlines. So basically it will look like the assignment is consistently open all quarter, but once I hit a deadline as stated in our modules, and I'm scrolling down and I'll say the deadline for section one and section two is October 8th and the deadline for section three is October 15th. You could always go in and, and still with keyboarding online, do more typing in section three lessons, six through 10, but after October 15th, I will not look at them or change the grades. That's the point I'm trying to make about keyboarding online does not actually put deadlines in its own interface. Um, but anyway, in our information section, I will usually have this at the top of the uh, modules for about the first two weeks of the quarter. Then I will move it below section 10 so it's not in your face. But while you're getting familiar with the class, here it is. You will basically want to, to visit the 10 key mastery access code page and then the assignment basics. The 10 key uh, mastery access code page basically gives you information on how to enroll yourself with 10 key mastery the course that i'm offering through keyboarding online it's a free self-registration to use the web application however self-registration is not the only step you self-register so that you could use any of their tools that are accessible but 
until you actually pay for an access code. Anything you choose to do in here will not be assessed for timings or points. So you need to know there's a two part process. So first you'll be going ahead and self registering and then you will purchase the ex uh, required access code that you could then activate yourself in your self registration and uh, uh, start doing the work in the class. There's a little video about student self-registration, uh, but let me show you some basics. Here we go. This link that I provide to you will go here where you would enroll yourself. So I'm going to try to enroll myself as a student, and I'm going to make up a name for myself. So I'm going to be LJ Boss. <laughs> Oops. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to create a password. Let's see, what should it be? I'm just going to say Agua, Agua, water. That's only four. So I'm going to call it Agua 01. You can't see it, and this, this student is not really going to exist, but I'm just... Okay, so you see how your password is hidden, just like so many other places. Nomad.com. I'm not going to give a phone number. It's not required. And I don't have an access code yet, so I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to register. All right, now they know who I am, but they don't know what course I'm supposed to be in. So what they've got here is this. So actually, no, they do. So I'm in BizTech um, Fall 2021. Great. And according to this, let's see if I'm actually considered to be logged in. No, I'm not. I'm registered, but I'm not logged in. So here I'm going to go over to Login. I'm going to say Username or Login. Now, it didn't give me one, so I'm going to do my email address. See what happens. And then I'm going to put in my password. And it's going to look for me. So I've self-registered and now I've logged in. And this is the class that I'm eligible for because when I basically did my student sign up, I made sure to choose this based on the instructions in the Canvas how-to page. See? Okay, so here we are at the home page. And the home page gives you various options. This is this page. And you're going to need to do an introduction setup user info a little bit for one of our early assignments, basically in section one. And it takes screenshots along the way. This gives you a chance to get used to this user interface. In here, the green section is where you're going to be actually doing work. You're going to be doing only standard lessons, optional lessons, which are in fact not optional at all. They just are called that in this particular tool, but I require them in as assignments. You'll have a couple of employment tests, and then you will have um, some creative lessons. I don't do any of their formal tests, and I don't do free form, but you will basically, when you get into, say, a standard, I'm going to click this. Now, it's going to ask you at this point to put in an access code, because you're going to need it in order to actually have this program start calculating your speed. So you could try doing this for practice, but it won't keep anything. But notice up here in this page, you will have the lessons menu for lessons, optional lessons, employment tests, created lessons, and then you don't have to worry about the one called just test. In here, you will basically be coming over and typing I'm really slow because right now I am just doing a demo. But you'll be doing this kind of work, and this is a one-minute timing. So that's how that sort of thing will work. Now we're going to go back to our home page. Here we are again. So down here, if for some reason you want to look at any of your reports on how you're doing, you could do this. What will happen is that I, as an instructor, at the end of each week, at the deadline, I will, or after the deadline, I will go in and I will look at your scores. Each of your lessons, you will usually have several lessons to do, and for each one, you'll need to do five repetitions of each lesson. The idea is that you're practicing five times and that your highest score of your practices is the one that I grade. But basically, if you only practice two times, I will not give you a grade. You need to practice all five times. 
So I have had students who's like, oh, I'm doing great. And I feel like I'm over the maximum that's required for this assignment after two practices. That's it. You're being graded both on the fact that you did the practices, all of them, and you did all five of them, and then based on the range of keyboarding um, speed that you reached with your highest one for each lesson. So I do my best to maximize the points that you can possibly get. But anyway, that's how this particular tool works. But let's go back here, and it's like that was just self-registering for the web application and getting in. Now you actually need to purchase the required access code. So you will need to order now. Let's make sure this link works. Seems like every quarter or two they change this. It's $42, and it's an online access code for all of their tools. You would add it to the cart, and you would pay for it. And, and so on. And then once you have it, once you're first asked, asked for that access code in order to do one of your assignments, you'll put it in and then it will be good for the rest of the quarter or the time you use this tool. Now, the only caveat I have here is I am aware that some students are on financial aid and worker retraining. And so what you need to do early on, I mean, right away when you start this course is make sure to contact the person you work with there and let them know the only place you can get this access code is through this website. Website. They should be aware of it. I've taught this class several times before, but because there is no physical product here, the uh, Shoreline Bookstore does not and cannot list this as an option for you to um, be able to use their, their um, store to buy it. You have to buy it here. So you will need to contact your financial aid or workforce advisor to verify how they're going to help you get this paid for. But anyway, that's how that all works. And I think that that should be enough information. You'll have a student tutorial video. You'll have some different information I can give you here. And then basically back over in our modules, you'll also want to look at the assignment basics, which tells you a little bit more about what to expect when you're doing it and some homework related links and tutorials and videos. So I hope that helps you out. Take care and enjoy the course.